spilling the damn tea so guys i was being gay as usual and i came across a god fen but before i let you guys know what fen has informed us let's talk about this app called howler howler is basically grinder but for furs <laughs> and i'm sure you guys are aware of that and if not well you're living under a fucking rock Howler shows the distance you are from someone else and you can change your bio and stuff basically to inform them of what you're looking for. You guys can chat and potentially meet up as well. Here's a good example, and this isn't me, Jesus Christ. Found me on the internet, lol, I'm not down to fucking fuck. And also, I'm taken. Sounds like a good app, right? Well, rip. So back to Fen, this fucking god. So I was being gay like I mentioned earlier, and Fen basically informed us that the owner of this app, Stormy, that he purposely, well, I don't know how the fuck he accidentally fucked his mom's dog. Or well, he got, you know, fuck. Anyways, I mean, he bragged about this pretty recently, so enough with the allegation. Showed y'all the receipts. So Fen basically exposes him on Twitter and not only on that platform but also to his parents which is pretty personal and he gets an intense message from a PR guy right after. He is one of the main runners of the app. You guys can pause the video and you guys can read it if you like. And I get it, frustration flying in the air but this is clearly not professional. And this sucks because it really only shows his true qualifications to this app meaning he isn't really qualified to have this type of position. So here's the problem, a lot of people are quite upset. We have two sides of this. Some people are pissed at Fen because Fen decided to tell his mom and notify her about him basically, you know, doing the nasty stuff to your dog. They're mad because Fen should have just let things go and avoided the drama, while others are saying don't be a bystander and do something about this. So we're having a fight between people that are basically trying to avoid the problem and avoid drama and people sticking up to justice because I mean, this dog doesn't really deserve that. As for the people that are against this app, you may be seeing a lot of people saying delete this app. It's mainly because these owners have access to your home and basically everything that's yours and can easily blackmail you and hack your information. Knowing how unprofessional these people are, don't be surprised if they do hack you. But also, by keeping this app, you're supporting someone that basically likes to rape animals as well. So that's really the sticky issue here because honestly this app isn't that bad, just ran by these guys. In my personal opinion, I just don't think these people are qualified to run an app such as important as this one. So much potential, and honestly, this can help the community so much. And to Stormy, I'm not here to king shame. Am I against it? Yes, but it's none of my business. What is my business though is that you guys aren't really too qualified to, you know, own an app such as this. So there you guys have it, um, basically what's happening so far with this whole entire situation. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Sorry if I skipped anything out, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and... Yay guys, boy.